Brian has been central London to visit a unique and fascinating place, Sir John Sowen's Museum. It used to be the home of the iconic British architect Sir John Sowen and was established as a museum through a private act of parliament in 1833 a lengthy process aimed at disinheriting his estranged son and transferring the house, along with its contents, to the care of a board of trustees after his death in 1837. Sowen's wish was for the house to be preserved unchanged and made accessible to the public, serving as a place for inspiration and education. The museum contains Sowen's extensive collection of treasures that he acquired over his lifetime. The architect initially purchased house number 13 as his home and office, later expanding the property by acquiring the two adjacent buildings. He used his home as an architectural laboratory, continually altering and expanding it to experiment with design ideas, accommodating new pieces and optimising the displays. In 1806, Sowen became the Professor of Architecture at the Royal Academy and began transforming his home into a museum for architecture students. As we enter, we arrive at the library and dining room, nothing too unusual. It features beautifully painted ceilings, deep red coloured walls inspired by an ancient Roman villa and stained glass windows facing the courtyard. It contains his collection of books, sculptures, ancient vases, as well as paintings. The one over the fireplace is a portrait of Sir John Sowen himself. The further we venture, the more we glimpse into the mind of the visionary architect, stumbling upon narrow corridors, hidden nooks, skylights, and openings that offer views into different spaces, revealing the creative ways he accommodated his collection. We are entering one of my favourite spaces, the dome area. Adorned with plaster casts of sculptures, enhanced by a beautiful skylight. At one end, a striking cast of the Apollo Belvedere statue overlooks the space. While on the opposite side, there is a bust of Sir John Sowen. The space opens up to the sepulchral chamber downstairs. Zoen had to open up the back wall here to accommodate some of the larger pieces in his collection, such as the sarcophagus, which we'll explore later on in the video. This is the picture room, a highly functional space that blends classical and gothic styles, forming a new architectural language, tailored to house Sowen's extensive collection of paintings. The collection includes paintings by iconic artists such as Turner, Canaletto and Hogarth. Hinged panels on three of the walls provide additional display options and views into other spaces showcasing more pieces.
This is the breakfast room. It has this stunning curved ceiling adorned with circular mirrors, complemented by skylights on the side as well as the center of the room. Heading down to the basement, we'll enter the sepulchral chamber. An underworld filled with objects related to mortality. The house is one of Sirwin's most impressive items. The sarcophagus of the Egyptian king Seti I, dating back to 1370 BC. The monk's parlour is a medieval themed room which is connected to the picture gallery upstairs and opens up to reveal more pieces showcased in the space here. This was the kitchen. We're heading upstairs to the drawing rooms. More elements are revealed as we move around and explore the space. The back room is filled with Sowin's own designs. He was the architect of iconic buildings such as the Dulwich Picture Gallery and the Bank of England. Similar to the picture room, it contains hinged panels providing additional display options. The museum continues to serve as a place for inspiration and education, offering spaces for events related to creative disciplines and showcasing temporary exhibitions. The current exhibition, titled Georgian Illuminations, focuses on public light shows of the Georgian period and the temporary architectural structures created for them.
Nayan Kulkarni has created a new light installation to complement this exhibition and connect the past with the present. I encourage everyone to visit the museum. It is an inspirational place that beautifully showcases Soen's vision and his passion for architecture and education. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos like this.